Okay, the next one, um, find the value of x. Now, for this one, um, here's a tangent, here's a tangent, and then here's um, a, a segment from the, the center of the circle all the way out to that um, external point, that point of intersection. Then here is the radius. So all I need to look for is x. I know that this tangent and this tangent are congruent because tangent meet at a point, tangent meet at the same point, then they are congruent. So I can just make this and this equal to each other. This segment and this radius, nothing, doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, so um, that's all you need. Now, there might be, um, you might get a problem similar to this where um, they're asking for this segment here. Or they give you this segment and then they ask for the tangent segment. So in that case, you can make this radius meet at that point of tangency so that it'll be perpendicular, right? And then this radius will have a measure of 6, and then you can just work with that there, okay? But for this problem, we don't need that. So here, we just need to make these tangents equal to each other. So it's going to be 2x minus 7 equals x plus 3. Uh, to solve, I can subtract the x, so that will be x. I can add the 7, so x equals 10. And then for this one, the radius is 12. They're asking for this whole um, side of the square. We know it's a square because, um, well, all sides are perpendicular, and it's... Um, each side is tangent to the circle, so it has to be a square. Now, um, you can think of this two ways. Now this is, um, if you just think of this as a very uh, simple way, this side is the same as the diameter of a circle because it's from one end to the other end, and that's x. So if the radius is 12, then we know that the whole thing, the diameter is 24. You can also look at this as tangents, and um, I'm, I'm explaining this both ways, even though we know that um, that could be the easiest way to solve, because you might have different versions of this kind of problem, where you have a square circumscribed about a circle, and just keep in mind that these are all tangent, okay? So then that's tangent here, and so each of these are going to be congruent to each other, okay? So then remember tangent, meet at an external point, tangent segment, congruent, same thing here, tangent, tangent, congruent, 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 and congruent, okay? So um, whatever you need to, you know, to be able to find whatever unknown, what is, what is, whatever it is that problem's asking for. For our problem here, um, I'm just, I can just make x become 12. So I'm sorry, x become 24, because if the rate, this is 12, then this is 12, the whole thing is 24. If that's x, and this also is going to be x, right? So x here is 24. And the fourth example, a regular hexagon is circumscribed.